Renato, not to make you Johnny on the spot, but I am. We are now getting breaking news right now from the January 6th committee. The committee wants to hear from Newt Gingrich, former Republican Speaker of the House. The committee saying it has information that Newt Gingrich was in contact with senior advisors to President Trump over false election claims amplified during the election, specifically political ads, which attempted to cast doubt on the outcome of the election after voting had already taken place. The committee also is alleging that Gingrich was involved with Trump after January 6th, and you have to appear to have been involved with President Trump's efforts to stop the certification of the election results, even after the attack on the Capitol. You know, Newt Gingrich, he's been a longtime Trump supporter, and now the committee is asking for him to come in for a transcribed interview. Renato, breaking news about Newt Gingrich clearly showing that the January 6th committee was telling the truth when they said that they were going to be working hard and furiously during August to be able to advance their investigation. What are your thoughts about Newt Gingrich now having to be in the crosshairs? I got to say, Katie, I'm surprised. I did not have Newt Gingrich on my bingo card uh, <laughs> for the January 6th committee. Uh, I, you know, if I if if I was talking, to, you know, if I was his counsel, my first questions to him would be, you know, what you know conversations he was having with Eastman Clark and others regarding those fake electors. We know there's a criminal investigation there. If he involved was involved in that in any way, he really needs to consider taking the fifth at least for some of the questions. Because he really doesn't want to get tied into that investigation, which appears to be pretty active by the Justice Department. I think it remains to be seen, you know, the, the extent of coordination between the Trump White House and, for example, the people attacking the Capitol and as well as people who were submitting those false documents to the Senate uh, regarding those fake electors. So, you know, I think very interesting, and I can't wait to, to watch that one. That's going to be much see, well, must see TV. I was sure. going to say, like I was saying, the January 6th committee clearly earning its keep and doing its work. Renato Maratti, thank you so much for being here. And joining me now is the co founder of the Lincoln Project, Rick Wilson. Rick, it's always so good to see you. Any comments about Newt Gingrich now being a target of a subpoena from the January 6th committee to be able to go and speak about his? involvement in attempts to overturn the 2020 election. You know, Katie, there's a rule in Washington that if you say that Newt Gingrich's name three times, he appears like the candy man. This guy <laughs> pops up like a bad penny over and over again. And so in one way, I'm not shocked at all. Um, because, look, Gingrich is an opportunist. He saw Trump as a, as a great way to enhance his his fading profile. And so, of course, he's going to give Trump the, the terrible advice he's given generations of Republican politicians. And and I'm, I'm delighted, actually, that one more person who can be a, a, an element in unraveling this entire maze that, that the Trump uh, effort to overturn the election put together has been called to account. And and the committee, I think, will we'll get a lot out of Newt. He is a guy who communicates with a lot of people. He talks on the phone to a lot of people. You'll get his text messages. You'll get his calls. You'll get his, his the metadata, at least, of who he was talking to. And this is a guy who loves to put himself in the middle of anything. So I think this is going to be a valuable um, lead for the committee to run down. And it's a reminder that for all the other trouble that Donald Trump and his his team of skells and goons and weirdos right now are facing, they still face the 1-6 committee until January of next year. And hell hath no fury, um, if, like, like Liz Cheney and the people on that committee, if Newt wants to play games with them. I think it's going to turn very ugly very fast. But you know, Rick, I like Renato Mariotti, who was just on right before you. I didn't have Newt Gingrich on my January 6th, you know, bingo, nope. potential indictment, nope. potential involvement card. He's kind of an outlier. What does that say to you then? Read some tea leaves for us a little bit, though. What does it say to you, though, about the January 6th committee's investigation? You know, this may be an unpopular take, but do you feel like the fact that it's now going so far as to include somebody that maybe none of us actually saw um, maybe being involved in this is uh, a little too broad now? Like, is it time to just kind of pull the trigger on this? Or no, I, is it actually in addition that they're doing a really good job? I think they're doing a very thorough job. I think the I think the the the, the thing the Republican uh, apparatus around Trump should dread is that they're now finding connections to other people. And when they analyze this, it, look, if we were doing this as a analyzing a terrorist ring, um, you would you would break it out. You would you would work your way up to the top. 
Gingrich is going to be somewhere near that top level. The connections he had, the communications he had on that day are going, and before that, they're going to be highly relevant, I think. If he's involved in some of these things about, about overturning votes in the states, it's going to be highly relevant. And I think that, again, once every time you turn one of these guys over, you get the entire pattern of their communications out to other people. And the clues and the, and the leads they're going to develop off of this, I think, are going to be very valuable.